Welcome back to visiting me, the Kimberly, the Bookmobile Lady. And today we will be reading Seed, Sprout, Pumpkin Pie by Jill Essenbaum. And this book was published by the National Geographic for Kids. I love this publication because it has got some really beautiful pictures. Have you picked your pumpkin? Have you ever been to a pumpkin patch? Or maybe you've been to a store where they had a lot of pumpkins and you got to select the one you want. This little girl, it looks like she's picked out one. A pumpkin begins like many other plants. The pumpkin seed is tucked into the sun-warmed earth. Spring rain softens its tough coat. There are the seeds. A root reaches for nutrients. A sprout reaches for light. Soon jagged leaves rise from twisty vines, wandering in all directions. Bees visit golden blossoms, spreading pollen from flower to flower. Aren't pumpkin flowers beautiful? Here and there, tiny green knobs replace wilted flowers. The knobs change color and slowly swell, growing heavier by the day. Cooler nights arrive and vines shrivel. Left behind are pumpkins, pumpkins, pumpkins. Lots and lots of pumpkins. Pumpkins are a type of squash. Do you like to eat squash? There's so many pumpkins. And did you see that plant? Do you recognize the plant that grows right there? That's corn. They can be green, red, tan, yellow, white, or even blue. The pumpkins we know best are bright orange. Have you ever heard of blue pumpkins? That's got to be very strange. Look at all those pumpkins. And that lady, she almost disappears in the middle of them. There are tall pumpkins and short pumpkins. Smooth or bumpy pumpkins. Look at this tiny pumpkin. It's so small it can fit in your hand. And there are wee pumpkins only inches wide. Or giant pumpkins you can sit inside. Look, they've turned these giant pumpkins into boats. Most of it you can't see because it's underwater. But oh my goodness, can you imagine opening up a hole in a, in a pumpkin? cleaning it out and turning it into a boat? That would be fun. Thump, thump, thump. A pumpkin sounds hollow, but inside is a stringy, wet pulp with oodles of slippery white seeds. Seeds might be saved to grow next year's pumpkins or dried for a crunchy snack. Have you ever tried eating pumpkin seeds? They can be delicious. But can you imagine growing a big pumpkin and turning it into a boat? Pumpkin pulp smells sharp and tangy, but can be made into delicious breads, desserts, and soups. 
sugar pumpkins go into the spicy pies we bring to our Thanksgiving table. Well, that's the end. Unless, was there something else pumpkins might be used for? Can you think of anything? Oh, yes, jack-o'-lanterns. You can make pumpkins into jack-o'-lanterns. Look at that tree. It's covered in jack-o'-lanterns. Some of these look kind of spooky. Will you give yours a funny face or a creepy one to send shivers up your back? Will it be the head of a straw-filled scarecrow? He looks like he's taking a nap. Ooh, those are spooky. Will your jack-o'-lantern uh, decorate your kitchen table among striped gourds and sunset-colored leaves like these are? Or will it set your porch aglow on a spooky Halloween night, lighting the way for a curious cat? Or maybe some trick-or-treaters? Unused pumpkins are fed to farm animals or left in the field to nourish the precious soil. He likes that. There's another hungry cow. That jack-o'-lantern, he looks so old and spooky. And these are awaiting spring under a winter blanket. They're full of seeds that can sprout in the spring. Maybe they'll even get big enough to make into a boat. I think pumpkins are fun. What do you think? This has been a Bookmobile book. Thank you for coming to read with us. The end.